GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the in no, we're doing the Invader versus Defender two scenario. Um, this is Alpha Eleven, and we are in the midst of trying to go sell some stuff. And this plane is just way too slow. So I have done some more base work. You can't really see anything. Although you can see some like antennas way up in the mountains and stuff. So I I put up Wi-Fi up in the mountains so that uh, when I even get close to the base. So those are both both base Wi-Fi are up in the mountains and a couple other places around the base right now to extend the Wi-Fi in a hellaciously long distance around the base because <laughs> that's awesome. Um, okay, so anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to beef up the SV a little bit here, and then we're going to take it to go cash in a bunch of weapons that we made to see if we can buy another one of the parts that we need to spawn in our CV eventually here. Um, and then we're going to come back and build a garden, or at least get the garden started. So let's do this. I've got some parts made. Uh, somewhere. Let's see. Shipyard. Oh yeah, it's in the shipyard. So let's grab these thrusters. And so these are the one by three jet thrusters. Um. Hmm. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? You know what? Let's pop, let's pop this off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that up at the front more. Yeah. So let's grab that. Where did you go? Right there. You can see all the stuff we've got made for the uh, vendor. Trader, I should say. Okay, so let's get this put back on. Uh, it needs to go like that. And like, ugh, if I rotate it like that, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, and then right there. Okay. And then we're going to put this thruster. We're going to put one out the back and two. So let's change this. We want. Like that, and is that uh, is that how we want it face? Is there a different? It's hard to tell. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I want it facing that way down. Okay, and then the other two, we are going to nope. We want it like that, facing down for some a little bit heavier carrying capacity because it had no thrust going up at all okay so let's let's take a look at see what the cpu is on it i think it should still be fine yeah yeah so we'll see we'll see if the if the one generator can handle it so let's jump in and fire it up Whoa! <laughs> was, okay, 10G. Holy crap! Okay, so it has a. Oh my God! Yeah, that's thrust. And then going forward, max of 70. There we go. We have. Oh, it doesn't turn very well at all, side to side. Let's see. Does it turn better when it's in the air? Yeah. See, it turns better when it's flying. Although it's the lateral movement is not that great. So. But up and down is really solid. So now the way to fly and turn, you got to go on an angle. See, and then you can turn really fast. So you're going to be using your your E and your Q key all the time 
to be turning, see, because then you can turn super fast. Because then you're using your up and down, which seems to be like super fast. Um, okay. So it's a little squirrely, though. And now it doesn't like to... Well, it's, it's going backwards. You know what? That's good enough. That's good enough. It holds us in one spot without going down. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, let's just grab the stuff. What do we got? We got enough fuel. Let's, let's not worry about it. I don't care. Good. We'll just grab what we can here. Uh, scout. Grab all this stuff. Let's see what the uh, CV still had on it. I think it had a bunch of stuff too that I couldn't sell. Yeah. Okay. Let's go try and get rid of this crap. We haven't been to the trading station in a long time. So let's, wow. Yeah, much faster now. <laughs> it's like way better. Um, okay, I will meet you guys there. Okay, I've landed. Let's go see if they will buy our crap. So, first of all, let's check out this guy. Oops. He will do T2 multi-tools. He'll do four chainsaws. Uh... I'll do four chainsaws and four ore scanners. That's not a bad price on this large optotonic bridge. Okay, so four chainsaw, four ore scanners. Let's grab those. I don't even know if I want to piss around with the uh, figuring out who is going to give me a better price at this point. So... Oh, I didn't make any ore scanners? Ah, oh, tragic. What about chainsaws? No chainsaws either? Yeah, no chainsaws. Okay, so that guy was a waste of time looking at. Okay. Um, that was sad. This guy, what is he going to buy from me? He'll buy the drills. Ooh, 15 of them. Nice! Okay, so let's do that. 15 freaking drills. Holy crap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we can sell ours. 13. Okay. So, so. Nice. Okay, and then we want ore scanner. We didn't bring any ore scanners. i got to remember to build a bunch of ore scanners. Uh, okay, so let's see what this guy will do. Uh, projectile pistols, seven of them. And shotguns, four. Assault rifle, five. Sniper, six. Multi... Five. Okay, so we want oh, let's just grab it all. Uh, pistols. Oh, hang on. Let's sell these. So shotgun. Assault rifle, sniper rifles, multi tools, okay, and then projectile pistols. Won't do any more shotguns, right? No, it's okay. So, projectile pistols. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, well, we have enough to buy another one of the 
things. So that's good. So let's let's do that first. Just so that we know we don't screw up and not buy it. Large optronic bridge. Here we come. Another one of them. There we go. So now we got two of them. We can make make one extender. That's kind of cool. But we need two more to to spawn in our um, our mid-level cargo vessel that can warp. Okay. So w what else was he selling again? Okay, he was doing he was doing ore scanners also. So we should be buying we should be making a ton of ore scanners. Pulse rifles, and he does all the big he does all the uh, bigger stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well we got what we came for. Let's um let's buy some magnesium powder, everything he's got now. So we'll buy do all the magnesium powder. I can't get magnesium in the sector, so this is the only way to get it. So we'll buy out these guys magnesium. And we'll head back. We did pretty good. We got uh you know, we got what we came for, so 71 stuff isn't cheap and he doesn't oh yes he does right there 95 95 and I think this guy sells it also yes 68. Okay, so that was our trading that we needed to get done for the day. So what we can do now is we could uh, we could head back to base. So I'll head back to base and it should be perfect timing for the sun to come up. Not that base. Actually, let's re remove that marker. And our new marker. We don't have a new marker. Okay, so let's... We'll do residence. Okay. Let's head back home. And I will meet you guys there. Okay, here we are coming up on the residence. And yeah, I know I got a lot of painting still to do. <laughs> like a ton. So yeah, we're slowly getting it textured and painted. But it, I know it's not the greatest looking building. Sorry guys. But I just, I didn't want to spend too much more time. I wanted to make a fairly large building to, to press the CPU limits, and we have. It is now beyond um, Tier 1. It needs a higher level CPU. So let's land up on the penthouse roof here, and we'll jump out. Okay, so that was an excellent trading mission. So this is... I, I'm going to have this open. I, I haven't done my bedroom this is my bedroom I haven't set it up yet so and this is going to be the garden so we need to get this built so let's do that we're going to start right now um, let's put away our crap that we bought so we'll leave this stuff in the scouts we, we don't need to make detectors we need ore scanners ore scanners I got to remember that so let's go into the shipyard and we're going to mats and actually i don't even know where the other one is yeah let's put it in a mat it needs to go in a mat so i don't know where the other one is is it uh it was in here wasn't it yeah there it is okay so we got two now we can actually make one of the uh tier three cpu extenders now 
Okay. Uh, okay, we still got water. Good. I made a whole bunch of promethium fusion cells because we forgot. I, well, I didn't forget. I just didn't have the fuel to go power up all the water generators, which we should actually go. You know what? Yeah. Before we get the... Because we're going to need a bunch of water. We do have enough right now to get started, but let's let's go fuel up the... Um... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Falling. Falling! Got to put some glass or something along the elevator there. Okay, so let's go do this. Uh, it's just like... <laughs> boom! Instantly. Just tapping the button. Oh, stop, stop. Stop. Okay. We've got Wi-Fi. Which Wi-Fi do we have here? We've got all four. Okay. Okay. Or, well, no, we don't have the ship. That's what we don't. We don't have the CV. That's fine. We don't need it. Because the CV isn't what we got. What we need, I should say. The CV does not got what we need. Uh, we're going to need the bigger ones, so let's, it's the shipyard, there we go. So let's connect to that, and we'll just put that directly in here. I think we can shift-click from here and put it in. We'll, we'll try. We'll try, let's try. <clears throat> let's see. Nope. But I can go like that. And fill up my that's fine it's fine whatever it works and the last ones here excellent okay that's the main thing what I built the fusion cells for actually was get those powered up okay so now we're generating water and at 80% efficiency on all four, so that's tons. We're gonna we're gonna have a crap ton of water by the time we actually need a, all the oxygen it can produce. Oh, he was getting lippy there. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Well, the processing plant will be for another day. Uh, it will be coming pretty soon, though. <laughs> this thing's squirrely. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, crazy. Actually, let's go back up to the penthouse. Whoa! We overshot that. <laughs> uh, stop. It's hard. It's hard to drive. Actually, it's hard to fly. As it's really twitchy with these super thrusters. Okay, let's get down here and get down to the garden. Okay, so I've noticed a bug with the drone when you're painting. You can't. It doesn't work unless you're within a certain range of your avatar, and your avatar, it like it's it's basically like your avatar is the one painting for some reason. It's it's bugged. It doesn't work. Um, to get these things on the outside, I was trying to. I couldn't do it with the drone, no matter freaking what, and, and or with my character. So I actually went into God mode to see if I could do it, and it worked. So I can only paint stuff by hand, unless you're within range. Then, like, say, say me just standing here, because I can target all this stuff with my avatar. If I launch the drone and try painting, it would be fine. But if I couldn't reach what I was seeing, what I wanted to paint with my avatar, the drone doesn't seem to be able to paint it anymore. So I'm not really sure what the hell's going on, but it's it's really freaking annoying. And I'm thinking it's a bug that everyone's experiencing. I'm going to go read to see if that's the case, because it just sucks. You can't paint with the drone right now. Okay. There's my bug rant for the day. Um, let's grab our grow plants, our, our grow lights, <laughs> and then our growing plots. 
and we've got some fridges and some food processors I want to throw up. Uh, I also, where's our lights? I think they're in the residence. Let's grab those. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's get some grow plots in here. We only have enough to do two-thirds of one side, really. But that'll get us started. So I want to get these in. Okay. And fine. So, we can put all the lights up. That's, that's on that block. That's on the outside. One in that center. And then we have one, two, three. That's the center of that one. And one, two, three. That'll be the center of that one. Okay. And then so we've got outside, outside ring, middle of that one, one, two, three, middle of that one, and the last one, one, two, three middle of that, that one so once we get the i know they're wasting energy right now but that's fine the solar is keeping up on this building uh although we will be a way over efficiency now aren't we yeah see that so we're gonna have to correct that but in the meantime let's get the rest of the stuff up here in place so i'm thinking we can just do a food area um We could do like a couple of fridges right here and then or if we do a fridge and here let's let's do let's do a uh, no keep that the right way let's do. No, this is, uh, I'm not really sure. Can we, should we like spin it and do it up against here? Do. We'll go like this. And we'll go. Um. like this and then on this side we'll go do the thinnest ones yeah like that no 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 <sighs> okay that's fine Let's pick that up okay so now we have fridges and processors let's Group all that up. Excellent. Make sure that everything is, all the lights are set properly. Good. Uh, let's put some lights in here. Uh, we got them already. So I think, I think what I want to do is. I want to do this all the way around.
Okay. There we go. Got some lighting there for the elevator area. And then we're going to want we're going to want one around here. Let's put one of these in. And then the same thing here. And we want that there. Okay. And then we're going to want some more over here. It's a little bright there with all that light combining together. It creates a little bit of a, a flare effect. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That'll work. Let's do this. So we're going to grab... Let's see, let's call one. We're going to call this one raw. Raw food. And then we're going to call the other one cooked food. Well, not cocked food. Uh, cooked food <laughs> and okay so now what we want to do is we probably want to transfer stuff over to here because we'll be doing most of the food processing over here so let's do shipyard fridge one and we'll go back and put stuff back in the the um in there but right now we'll just sort this out we'll just sort this out so I'm gonna put all the shipyard fridge one we can use that for all the, the medicine the shipyard fridge it's not a bad idea let's do that uh, yeah Although the shipyard fridge doesn't actually need, medicine doesn't need to be refrigerated. Whatever, whatever. It's fine. It, it, it doesn't even eat up the fuel over there. The, the solar panels completely keep that thing charged. And then it just eats up a little bit of the solar battery overnight, which is minimal. So it's, it's not eating fuel right now, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, um, well, let's get these, oh, that's not it, let's get these planted, so I want to get, no, actually, I only want to get these down right now, so, oh, well, we do have the other plot of nine there, we can get the, uh, what else can we get started there, that we need a lot of, we need a lot of the spice so let's get that going we can even start growing the uh the other stuff too what are we missing we're not missing anything we've got everything we need uh yeah let's get let's get the spice down Get the spice down. So let's in this one. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to bother because I need all the vegetables growing to be able to do anything else anyway. So it's just at this point, I got to wait for the pumpkins to grow. Okay, so we've got our garden going. Woohoo! We've got a garden going. That's all sealed up, and we'll we'll look at what we should paint these. You know what? I do like I do like the uh, ooh, that's a little too bright. Nah. 
Which aquamarine? I like that. I like that. What about the uh, darker? Dark green. Brown. Kind of goes with the wooden. I, I wanted to do a wooden motif with the concrete blocks, but there's no there's no wood anymore. There's no wood texture. Um, yeah, there's no wood texture for concrete. <laughs> oh well, oh well. You know, there's wood texture for steel, but not for concrete. Whatever. So I'm not sure if I want to keep those that color. Well, there we go. We did our trading, we got our garden up and going, and we will throw in our extender that we made for the base. Go all the way down. All the way down to the basement. <laughs> okay. So, here, let's go into first person view so the camera doesn't freak out so much. Let's go into our little... Um, power shed here for the residents um yeah let's put it in here so let's find it where did we put it it's probably in the shipyard and then now isn't that great you only have a few things on them. that's why the multi the multi base with a few cargo is much easier to look through at least i find it uh, okay, so shipyard, mats, no, it would have went blocks, didn't it? No, maybe it is residence. Oh yeah, I moved it over there. Okay, so let's just connect to this then. That's fine. We'll disconnect to whatever. Oh, you know what? That's gonna put. Uh, it's gonna put those sprouts in whatever the heck. What would was it the SV? No. Was it the shipyard? Yep. <laughs> uh, residence. Oops. Residence. That's I just screwed all that up, didn't I? That was in the shipyard. Fridge, and then this is residence. Raw food. There we go. Okay, I can plant those later when I have more vegetables. So we want residents, container controller. Let's grab our stuff. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab the extenders. We're going to grab advanced constructor. We're going to put some uh, consoles in. We'll worry about the furnishings later. Okay. So, let's do the extender. The extender. Should we do it like right here? Yeah. We're going to do it like right there. And then we're going to put a console in for it. So, we're going to do like this, I think. It's not a very big console though, is it? Maybe we should do like like this. Cause then when we put the other if we put more extenders in. You know what? No, that's that's a let's just do that. That's fine. Alright, so we have the the extender in now. We should have lots of CPU now. Yep. Got a just a ton of CPU capacity, so we'll never well, we won't even get close to the 200,000 at this point, considering that we're almost done building the base, right? We just got deco and deco blocks, and that's not going to be 100,000 CPU. Um, but this right here is going to eat a huge chunk of it. So let's, where do I want to do this? The back corner here? Yeah. So let's put the, we're going to build it right here. 
because then we're going to put cargo right here. And I want the... I like that. I like the panel right beside it. Yeah, let's do that. Panel facing out. Come on. Okay. Well, that's just a small little one for mats. I think we'll we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. We don't need a huge mats box for So let's go into here. And you can see now we're at 130. Holy crap, so we've got 70 left, so we're well into the uh we're actually 50 over now. Wow. That's fine. That's because of the constructor. Uh, if it starts getting ridiculous, then you know if we need if we need the CPU for something else, we'll, we can pop the constructor out. So now that we've got that, let's name let's set this one here. So let's name this one here. mats we can name it the same as the other buildings containers now because it's only going to be the only mats for this building so i don't have to worry about getting confused which which one because it'll it shows you so for example right so when we go into here residence mats there's only one mats we can go shipyard Mats. It's a shipyard mat. So it's different, right? So it's it's easy to tell. Okay. And then this one we wanted. Um, this one is the crazy one. This is going to be um, blocks. This is the main construction container. For our site really okay well we are done this episode I think next episode we'll have I'll have the garden finished I'll have everything grown and the rest of the plots in place um, and then really I mean we're getting down to we got to build the the processing plant and we're pretty much done the base other than painting and, you know, deco, um, making it look pretty. But for functionality, we'll probably be where it's going to be until we get some more um, rare materials to build the, the repair bays and stuff like that. Well, guys, I'm going to call it here. So next episode, next episode, you know what? We're, we are getting a good supply of magnesium powder now. So. You know what we should do? We should maybe look at building a a combat HV and go, yeah, we'll build a combat HV. I think that's our next thing is to do is build a combat HV. I have not built a combat HV yet in this game. I have not built a combat HV. Can you can you believe that? That's crazy. <sighs> I might have to use those the um, the next couple extender pieces, op optomic matrices, thingies, bridges, thingamajuies, CPU thingamajuies. That's what we're going to call them now. Um, I might have to use the next two that I buy to actually make a tier three HV. Because if you look, here we can go into. No, not from here. We can we can actually go into uh, here now because we have a constructor and let's take a look at the HV stuff so it's SV SV HV cheap cheapest borscht nanotubes that doesn't even take anything special let's see what the um, costs here are 
So we've got 303 points. We'll save those points and and select what we need. You know what? No, I'm going to have to select this stuff now. Let's just take it now. I want the jet thrusters. What does that take? Small optometric bridge. I don't even know where to get those. Damn. Okay. Uh, well, we've got to learn it anyway. Large drill module. Don't really care about that right now. You know what? We'll do the passenger. Because if it's going to be a combat vessel. Uh, plasma turret. I do like me some plasma turrets. We can do the artillery. Oh god, we might as well just take everything, right? <laughs> just take, just unlock it all. That way, whatever we want to make for the HV, we know. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just not, whatever. Okay. So let's now, let's take a look. Now that we know everything, we know everything. Okay. It's SV. Where's the thruster for? There it is. HV, jet thruster. See, just nanotubes. It's not like it takes anything other than the basic ingredients. Okay. See, that takes cobalt, though. That's weird. That's a 1x3x1, 270, this is 297, and it is a 1x3x1, oh, 400 hit points, 200 hit points, 400 hit points, more thrust, same size, CPU 198, CPU 180, oh my goodness, I think we're going to be going with these then, the T2 the large T2 thruster sounds like what we're going to be going with. 473 for mass, 375. So that's the trade-off there. They're heavier. Uh, ooh, that means 279. Or 297 to 270. Crap. These are more thrust per kilogram, though. But then they're way less hit points. Half the amount of hit points in the same amount of space. That makes me want to take these alone because it's going to be a combat vehicle, right? Yeah. And then what do we need for the polarized shield? Power coil, we can do that. Flex coil. Yeah, we can do all that right now. That's fine. Excellent. Okay. Well, next episode, we're building an HP, a combat HP. Till then, you guys have yourselves an awesome. Awesome day.